24th Annual EU Conference on EAFRD Financial Instruments for Agriculture and Rural Development took place in Sofia on the 5th and 6th of June 2018. The conference was opened by the Commissioner for Agriculture and Rural Development, Phil Hogan, the Bulgarian Minister of Agriculture, Ruman Porozhanov, the Vice President of the European Investment Bank, Andrew McDowell, and the Chief Executive of the European Investment Fund, Pierre-Luigi Gilibert, who explained how member states and regions can make use of new opportunities for financial instruments under the European Agricultural Fund for Rural Development. It's wonderful to be here in Sofia in Bulgaria at another conference uh, discussing financial instruments and how we can uh, develop more instruments uh, for our young farmers or for agribusiness generally. Uh, we are making a lot of progress with the legislation. We have put some changes through recently which will help uh, to mobilise significantly more money from European Investment Bank. Uh, also in the reform of the CAP which I've just announced, uh, we are emphasising even uh, more uh, the possibility of financial instruments playing a big role in capital investment, in working capital and developing our rural areas. So we are working closely with the European Investment Bank and indeed other banks in the Member States to ensure that through the CAP, through InvestEU, uh, and uh, we are our partners, that we are able to have uh, finely tuned and tailored products that are actually, actually able to develop our rural areas with long-term loans, with the lowest possible interest rates, with the guarantees that we can provide in the Rural Development Programme. Well, the European Investment Bank, the EIB, as the, as the EU bank, is committed to supporting uh, European agricultural policies uh, and the development of rural regions in Europe. And clearly, as there will be less budget resources available for, uh, for rural development as well as other policy areas under the EU budget in the coming years, we need to do more with less. And that's why the EIB is committed to working with the European Commission and managing authorities to develop using scarce structural funds, financial instruments that will make scarce public money go further in supporting farmers and agribusinesses and rural communities across Europe. Conference participants received new information from DG Agri about the main changes proposed for the EU's common agricultural policy in the future, as well as how these changes could help managing authorities of rural development programmes to take more advantage of the benefits offered by financial instruments. The new cup, I think, will uh, change quite drastically its approach. It will enter into, it will bring a new partnership between the Member States and between the EU level. We will move away from a very much compliance-based system where we were very much focusing on the question of uh, correct respect of the rules on uh, controls on sanctions and this has shifted us a bit away from looking into results and into the performance of the policy. So we would like to change that, we would like at the EU level to concentrate on designing the framework for this policy, on identifying objectives, interventions and indicators and then to give flexibility to the member states to design their policy under that. So for the member states to set the rules for the beneficiary, for the member states to identify clearly their needs, uh, of course they have to do that uh, in a kind of strategic approach and this strategic plan will have to be approved by the Commission, we will have talks about that. But in principle it should give more flexibility to the member states, it should simplify also the life of the beneficiaries and it should also allow, let's say, to better go away with instruments like financial instruments. I think the, the perspective of financial instrument is very positive in future. Uh, if you see the, uh, the new delivery model, the uh, simplification under the rural development policy, but also if you see the overall context, I think we need more financial instruments to be implemented. Furthermore, I think the advantage of financial instruments under rural development is that you can establish a very targeted financial instrument, targeted to the needs of, of the region, of the member state, of your target group. And I think that's a, that's a big, big advantage. And I think overall financial instruments not only provide leverage, but they can also provide quality, quality to the projects, to the investments we would like to see in rural areas. 
case studies explaining member states' experiences with investments in rural areas through EAFRD financial instruments were presented during the conference, and these included managing authorities from Poland and Spain, talking about how the FI Campus targeted coaching has helped their preparations for new financial instruments that combine the EAFRD with the European Fund for Strategic Investments. As a few days ago we have received from the EIB the first final draft of the feasibility study. With this feasibility study we are going to implement financial instruments and I would like to underline that this financial instrument will be co-founded by the two financial sources. First is the European Agriculture Fund for Rural Development and second one is uh, European Fund for Strategic Investments, usually called Juncker Plan. And the more detailed objectives are the um, following. First, uh, um, we are going to uh, prepare, uh, prepare uh, investment, investment strategy, which, is a, which plays a very important uh, role as a prepare to, uh, to the solution for investment most popular, most optimal for the, our potential beneficiaries. And second one and, uh, is uh, important for us because uh, in, the, in this feasibility study uh, has been included, uh, included uh, market assessments as uh, um, analyzed for the additional financial sources for the beneficiaries of two types of intervention, 4.1 and 4.2. I mean investment in agricultural holdings and second one uh, improving of uh, marketing and processing of agricultural products. El, el coaching eh, dirigido eh, ha sido muy importante para nosotros porque eh, nos ha ayudado a, a entrar en contacto con todos los eh, actores eh, que participan en el proceso. Hemos recogido lo que son sus eh, opiniones, eh, sus necesidades y eh, a raíz de ahí surgió también la posibilidad eh, muy importante para nosotros de eh, llevar a cabo un estudio de viabilidad de los instrumentos financieros. Para nosotros ha sido eh, muy beneficioso el proceso de coaching. Eh, los siguientes pasos que tenemos que dar para implementar los instrumentos financieros eh, el primero es la toma de decisión, tenemos que decidir eh, firmemente si vamos a usarlo o no Una vez que hayamos tomado la decisión, eh, tenemos que designar a un gestor. Eh, una vez que esté designado el gestor, tendrá que seleccionar los instrumentos financieros. Eh, tendrá que seleccionar también los intermediarios financieros y ya luego eh, ponerlos en marcha. Nuestra prioridad es, es que eh, de toda esta primera fase podamos acabar eh, en este año, en 2018, para que en 2019 pudiéramos tener ya eh, el instrumento financiero funcionando. Eh, el objetivo del estudio de viabilidad eh, principalmente es determinar si en Andalucía hay un hueco de mercado que eh, haga necesario el poner en marcha un instrumento financiero. Si esto es así, eh, bueno, una vez que se haya determinado, eh, habrá que definir eh, una estrategia de inversión para ponerlo en marcha. Yo creo que son los dos principales eh, objetivos, eh, con un objetivo último y tercero, que es también la posibilidad de conseguir todos los fondos adicionales, sean pues, del Fondo Europeo de Inversiones Estratégicas o de inversores privados, que hagan que el efecto palanca sea el máximo posible y que los eh, fondos europeos, el, el FEADER, se multiplique mm, todo lo que se pueda. To find more information about the fourth annual EU conference on EAFRD financial instruments for agriculture and rural development in 2014 to 2020, please visit our website, ficompass.eu.